everyone, Teresa here and welcome to my everyday. Today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. It's a little on the larger side just because it is actually two separate trips to the Dollar Tree. I went in and then went back for a few more things. So let me show you what I picked up. First thing that I got was this perfumed shower cream. I got it because it comes in the scent orange and sandalwood. I love citrus body wash um, or shower creams I guess as this one is called. I also really like the scent of sandalwood so I thought I would give this a try and see how it is. I also picked up this double bubble bubblegum scented bubble bath and I got this for my kids and I will say right now save your money we've already tried it twice it does not smell very good and although it does provide you with some bubbles I don't find that it gives you a ton of bubbles and definitely not worth it for the scent I didn't find that it was very good so we will finish this up but we probably will not repurchase this I also picked up a tube of the Lay's Stack Original Chips and I got those because I'm noticing that everywhere else they are $2 and at the Dollar Tree they were $1.25. I also rebought these pomegranate cleansing towelettes and I have to say that the last time that I picked these up I said that I wasn't sure about how they would do and that I mostly got them because of this open and closed plastic um, thing here but I have to say that I am almost done the original ones that I bought and I actually really enjoy them I don't use them for my face but I do carry them around in my purse I find they're great for cleaning your hands wiping off swatches if you've done them on your hand um, basically cleaning up messes when you're on the go so I really do like them of course now that I love them Dollar Tree actually doesn't have very many of them anymore at least not the one that I was at they only had two left so I do hope that they continue to carry these because I really do like them I also picked up the Secret Clinical uh, Clear Gel Antiperspirant and this Nature's Measure Fish Oil. I also picked up this Dr. Sheffield's Clear Zit. And I have been having some issues with some acne, probably because I've been trying some new face creams and also trying different kinds of makeup. So I'm gonna see if this might actually help me out just for some spot treatment. Also picked up this micro USB keychain. I thought this would be really cool. I don't know if I attach it to some sort of charging mechanism, if I could also charge my phone with it. But if not, I thought it would be good to put it on my keychain um, and just carry it around with me in case I'm ever out and about and say I need to transfer photos um, for printing or to share it with family members. So I thought that was a good idea. I also got this three pack of kid socks. They're actually for me because I have really small feet. So I thought they were really cute, especially for in the summer, um, if I wanna go for a jog or for wearing with my runners or for whatever reason, I just thought they were really cute. And for $1.25 to get three pairs of socks, can't go wrong. I also picked up these reading glasses and I know that I just thought they were really cute. They're very similar to my actual glasses. Um, when I wear contacts, which I do wear contacts regularly, um, I wear them for distance and so I find that sometimes when I'm wearing my contacts um, I have trouble with my nearsightedness um, because I'm correcting my distance so much. So I did pick these up just to see how they would do for me um, if I'm reading and my eyes get tired or if it tends to get a little bit dark darker I do have a little bit of trouble so I picked those up and usually you can figure out what your prescription is. Um, reading glasses are kind of easy because you can actually just put them on in the store and actually just try and read something until it's comfortable. And then the last thing in this bag I also picked up these sweet and low wild cherry candies. I'm trying to lay off the sweets but Sometimes you just need a little something, so I thought that I would pick these up and give them a try. I also picked up this five count of paper cups. I liked it mostly for the pattern. It has all these little coffee cups all over it. I drink a lot of coffee and I'm on the go a lot. Now I do have travel mugs. I actually have a ton of travel mugs. But sometimes I go somewhere where I don't wanna be carrying my travel mug around for the rest of the day or I haven't brought a bag that I can put it in and I don't wanna lose it. So I thought these were good to have on hand so that that way I can actually recycle the cup when I am finished. 
I also saw these eyelashes. It's an eyelash kit with adhesive gel, I guess the gel glue. Um, I do have a different kind of glue, which I probably will try, but I thought these were neat. Um, I always like to give the Dollar Tree a chance with anything that they have because you never know, they may be great. So I thought that I would get them and give them a try. And then I also picked up these cough drops in the cherry flavor. I figured anytime there's a change of season, illness comes, and if you have a sore throat, the last thing that you want to do is get in the car and drive to the drugstore to get cough drops. And for $1.25, I thought that sure beats paying the $5 drugstore price or even the $3 drugstore price, so I got those. And then I picked up a whole bunch of nails. Those of you who have been watching my videos now for quite some time know that I have fallen in love with the Sassy and Chic nails. So I picked those up. I just thought they were a really, really pretty pattern. But then I thought that I would also give the kids nails a chance. They are just called fashion nails. And I thought those were really cute for spring. Um, and I thought I would give them a chance because they do have small nail beds. So I'm gonna see if the 10 largest size will fit me and give those a try. And then I also thought that I would try the Tivoli brand of nails, which uh, Dollar Tree carries. So I saw these ones with the glitter that I thought were really pretty. And then I thought I would also try the French manicure, just to give it a try. Why not, for $1.25? I thought, can't beat that. I also found this really cute, I guess it's supposed to be like a Rubik's Cube. I don't know if we can call it a Rubik's Cube because that's the name brand, but that's what I got for my kids in this holographic print. So I thought they would have a lot of fun with that. Sorry about the glare there. And then I also found this really super cute compact. It basically has two mirrors inside. I will not open the mirror side out to you, but it has two mirrors inside. One side is just your regular mirror and then the other one actually has a magnified uh, side which is one of the reasons that I really liked it because sometimes you need to get a closer look at yourself. So I thought that was really cute. They also had it in a few other colors. They had like black with a pink flower but I really liked this one. And then I picked up a whole bunch of different containers. Um, I thought I, it was time to replace some of the containers that I have. So I got this tiny, these little tiny ones, um, Easy Seal four storage containers. So they're just the little tiny ones and those are really good for my kids for taking, you know, little snacks in their lunch. I also picked up this one, also from Betty Crocker, um, Easy Seal, three storage containers. Uh, you get a bonus one, so the three is a bonus. They used to come with just two, but that's them there, and those are great for lunches. I also picked up this Surefresh container, and I liked it because it actually has the divider, and I thought it would be great for my husband to take his lunch to work, um, because then it kind of doubles as his plate, and so I thought that would be a really good um, container to try out. And then I also picked up this, also three storage containers from Betty Crocker. Um, the third one is also a bonus, as it said in the other ones, in this size. And then I picked up this one, and this one you only get two, but I really like this size. This is actually the size that I prefer, which is why I got it. It's nice and round piling everything around me here. Then of course I had to go and check out the makeup and I thought that I would finally give the LA Colors Eyes eyeshadow a try. So I picked up this pretty trio. It has a really pretty pink and a light brown and a darker brown. So I thought that I would try that out. I have since seen uh, Sparkle On Forever and she actually said that they're pretty decent and they're really good. So I wanna give it a try and see um, if the pigmentation is good and if it wears nicely. And I have recently tried out a whole bunch of the LA Colors and Dollar Tree makeup and liked most of it. So I thought I would give that a try. And then I picked up this pen. I actually picked it up just because I thought it was super pretty. I thought it would be really nice to um, store it in the spiral part of my planner um, so that when I'm carrying it around, but it's also a stylus. So I thought that would be really, be really good because sometimes um, I have trouble, especially if I'm wearing long nails, um, using my phone or, or typing or playing a game. So I thought that would be handy to have. 
But on the way out, I actually found this pen as well, and then I couldn't decide which one I liked better. I thought this one was also really pretty, and so maybe I'll put this one in my planner. Um, but I just loved the little jewel on it, so I got that one. And then the last two things that I got are these Vaseline Lip Therapy. I actually got this one in the original, and then I picked up this one in the Cocoa Butter. I don't need it. Of course, do any of us really need it? But I thought for $1.25, I keep seeing them in the drugstore and again at Walmart and a whole bunch of other places, and it's way more than $1.25. And I thought, especially the original one, even if I don't use it as lip therapy, it's really good to carry around in my bag in the summertime. Um, if somebody needs any sort of moisturizer or if the kids get hurt and there's a scab and they need to moisturize it with something or I don't know, just some reason to carry it around. You never know when you might need it, so I thought I would pick that up. So anyway, that was it for my trip to the Dollar Tree. I hope that you guys enjoyed my video. If you did, I would love a thumbs up. And also, please feel free to comment down below and uh, let me know what you think, um, any kind of videos you would like me to do in the future. And I hope to see you again soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Talk to you later. Bye.